Thanks for joining us on 7 Report today for our very first look at the Air 10 from Ken Sun. One of the newest devices from Kim Sun is designed to be simple, convenient, and suitable for beginning as well as advanced vapors. It's the Air 10, and it's packaged with everything you need to start vaping right out of the box. We're going to switch the camera angle, open up the box, go over some of the controls and the functions and some of the specs, put it all together, and then come back to this angle and do a very first vape with the Air 10 from Kim Sun. There are two components to the Air 10. There is the mod and the disposable pre-filled atomizer. Now, Kim Sun also includes a micro USB charging cable and an owner's manual. The mod is powered by an internal 1700 mAh battery and Kim Sun puts the charging port on the side or the front of the device so that you can charge it while it is standing upright. The Air 10 is a temperature control device without the control. It operates at a constant 530 degrees Fahrenheit to provide a consistent experience. Now there are five LEDs on the front of the mod and those will come on when you vape. They also serve to display remaining battery capacity and the fire button located here just above those five LEDs. It's made from zinc alloy, zinc alloy, and the mod is actually pretty solid for as small as it is. And I like the curved edge design. It makes it very comfortable to fit in your hand, and it actually looks pretty stylish. The Air 10 pre-filled disposable atomizer comes with a pretty impressive 10 mil of e-juice already in there and a 0.25 ohm titanium coil. Let's open this up so we can get a better look at the atomizer. There are three airflow ports. I'm going to take that little plastic piece out of there. On the front of the atomizer, and uh, they're arranged for what Kim Sun refers to as a top U-turn air inflow. Now, the atomizer connects directly to the mod. Let's make sure we get this correctly. And it uh, attaches magnetically, so you just pop it in there. That's got to be the right way, right? Yeah. Just pops on there. Take that off of the mouthpiece. And that's all you got to do. Line it up, pop it on, and you are ready to vape. You don't have to prime the coil because it's been sitting in that heat juice since they shipped it from the factory. You don't have to wait for it to uh, for the coil, for the cotton in the coil, to soak up your e-juice. It's all ready to go. Now, the Kimsung website says that there will be 15 flavors of e-juice spread across five categories. Tobacco flavor, drink flavor, fruit flavor, mint flavor, and dessert and food flavor. When Kim Sun contacted me, they supplied a list of 10 flavors for me to choose from. Tobacco number one, banana milk, honeydew, tobacco number two, watermelon, smoothies, green mint, milk, strawberry with milk, whiskey, and Chinese style flu cured tobacco number one. I chose the strawberry with milk and that's what they sent me. Now it doesn't say strawberry with milk anywhere on the atomizer itself, but it does on the packaging right here. Yeah, strawberry with milk. So we're ready to go. It's fully charged. We can see you got the five LEDs lit up. So we're going to switch the camera angle and come back right away because we don't have to wait for it to uh, saturate a coil and do a very first vape 
on the Kim Sun Air 10. Well, we have the atomizer attached to the mod. It's fully charged. We showed you the uh, five LED lights are lit. Let's go ahead and get a very first vape with the Air 10 from Kim Sun. That is very nice. I like that. The flavor on this strawberry with milk, or is it milk with strawberry? Let me double check. Strawberry with milk, mild and creamy. The strawberry, a little subtle, but you don't want it to be overpowering, and it's not supposed to be just a straight strawberry. The only potential I see for any kind of problem is the placement of these airflow ports based on where the fire button is. Because with me, I like to hold it like this and fire. Well, if I do that, my finger's going to cover up those airflow ports. I'm not going to get anything. So you just got to be careful how you hold it. That's a good amount of vapor. The airflow, nice and airy the way I like it. Let's see if I do it this way. I guess I can do it fire with my finger instead of my thumb. Man, I like this. This is really very nice. Flavor is good. Now see, it came fully charged, so it's now down to four of the LEDs lit. So that means there's four fifths of the battery power left. So 1700 mAh battery. Flavor is consistent. I think, you know what? I've got a, yeah, it is. This is a six milligram uh, nicotine level. And I'll, I'll get more information from the folks at Kim Sun. So far, still no official word on a suggested retail price, but I hope to have that information prior to posting the full in depth review of the Air 10. And that'll be coming up in the next couple of weeks after I've had a chance to use this device pretty extensively. If you follow Seven Report on Twitter or Facebook, you'll be notified that way as soon as that review is live. I like this little device. I like the flavor of the seed juice too. For something that is pre-filled, uh, that's a pretty good flavor. Thanks so much again to our friends at uh, Kim Sun for providing the Air 10 for us to review. Kim Sun, a uh, fairly long time review product supplier and advertiser for Seven Report. As I said, I've not found a price yet of where you can order this. However, in the description section of this video on our YouTube channel and the article on our website, sevenreport.com, I will have a link to the Air 10 page on the Kim Sun website so you can find out more about it. This is really, really a good looking device and, and it, it, you don't get much more convenient than slapping the pre-filled atomizer on and hitting the fire button to start vaping. Well, that's it. Our first look at the Air 10 from Kim Sun. Thank you so much for being with us today on 7 Report. I hope that you will subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website too, 7report.com. We update both the website and the YouTube channel all the time. Hardware, e-juice reviews, informative articles, and a whole lot more. So I hope you will keep coming back and thank you again for being with us today on 7 Report.